1970 a mother purchased an antique raggedy and doll from hobby store. The doll was a present for her daughter, Donna, on her birthday. Donna, pleased with doll and placed it on her bed as a decoration and didn't give it a second thought until a few days later. Donna noticed that there appeared to be something very strange and creepy about the doll. The doll apparently moved on its own with noticeable movements. Several times Donna placing the doll on the couch before leaving for work would return home to find the doll back in the room on the bed with the door closed. After some creepy experiences Donna family finally contacted the Warrens who were experts in dealing of paranormal cases. A wedding dress in a room in Baker Mansion is said to be haunted by the daughter of the man who owned that house. His daughter, Anna fell in love with a local steel worker but her father not permitted to marry her lover. Heartbroken Anna never did get married and died an old maid in 1914. Anna wedding dress was put on display in Anna's old room. Over the years, the wedding dress gained reputation for being haunted. On full moon nights, the dress quacks violently in its glass case, sometimes threatening to shatter the display. The Myrtles was built by David Bradford in 1794. It has allegedly been the site of the scene of at least 10 murders. Myrtles Plantation is believed to be one of the most haunted item on the premises is a mirror. The plantation is supposedly home of at least 12 ghosts. A mirror located in the house supposedly holds the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and two of her children who occasionally seen or leave handprints in the mirror. The book comes from a Hebrew word meaning cling. In the Hebrew tradition, a dibuk is a malicious spirit that is bound on the earth to an object or person to complete unfinished business. The box owned by a Polish Holocaust survivor named Havila. Havila acquired the box in Spain before her immigration to USA. She kept the box hidden away safely in her sewing cabinet for the rest of her life. In 2003, after Havila's death, her granddaughter sold it along with other items to Kevin Manis. After that, he and his family experienced creepy situation and paranormal activities with this box. Later, the film the possession was filmed based in this story. Inside the Thirsk Museum in North Yorkshire, England, is there infamous chair of Thomas Busby. The chair hangs on a wall about five to six feet up in order to prevent anyone from sitting in it. Legend holds that chair is cursed, and anyone who dares to sit in it will meet an untimely end soon after. The chair of death was the favorite chair of Thomas Bubsy. He was on his way to the gallows in 1669 when he put a curse on it, claiming that anyone who sits in it will soon die. During the World War II, people noticed that the ones who sat in it would never come back from war.